experiment. <laughs> I turned out my Belgian Danvers with the little bitty 25 ounce roosters and the teeny mini hens with my one of my old lady groups that didn't have a rooster with it. Hopefully the most of them leave everybody alone except for Spike. Yeah, they're Spike. Spike always wants to intimidate the older hens. If they don't, he goes up to them. If they look at him funny, he flogs them in the face. Aubrey pretty much, this my porcelain boy Aubrey, he pretty much leaves everybody alone. But, I don't, I don't know. These older hens, they're intimidated by these little big hens. Yes, they are. Oh, I tell you what, it feels like March, April today. It's so warm this afternoon. It is in, it's unreal. Penny is standing on my shoe. Watch her. Look at her. She wants me to pick her up. Look at her. Penny, what are you doing, you goober? Jeez, Penny. I'll get you in a minute. Hang on, let me get up. Come here, pocket pet. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I got her. Yeah, they're, um... <laughs> I'm trying to get it where I can have two groups at at once. Oh, Spike has seen somebody he wants to go. What have you found, Spike? You found a bunch of stuff over here. You're such a goof. You really are. I know. You're such a goober. I've got a whole barn full of goobers, I swear. Aubrey's my, my rooster I call dumb as a box of rocks. That is the dumbest rooster ever. You may think he's got scaly leg mice. He's got the most bizarre feet. But, um, he's the only one. Oh, God. Oh, are you okay, Amy? I see we had a little hen fight over there. Are you okay, Amy? Well, I don't know. I think the roosters will be okay. If the little hens will stay away from the big hens, they'll be okay. I don't want the little hens hurt. But, and then, of course, the roosters, they're not going to hurt the hens. They're just going to intimidate. Spike's a big intimidator. But yeah, Aubrey, he's got the weirdest feet. I mean, I have taken his legs, I've soaked them in oil, I've scrubbed them with a soft toothbrush, I've put Invermectin on his legs just in case. I've done everything in the world to fix his scales on his legs, and they stick straight up in places, and there's no way I can fix them. Um, so I don't know, it's just him. He's got dragon feet is all I got to say. Spike, everybody else's scales on my feet are smooth as silk. They all lay down beautifully. Just Aubrey, so I don't know what his problem is. But, uh, I don't know. Aubrey, lately, he's been, if he has the least bit of exertion, he turns dark purple. So, he's turning seven years old. I may not have Aubrey very long. Probably good it does. I mean, these birds barely lay anymore anyway, so the roosters are really not even useful. And Spike is a little, look at him, Mr. Intimidator. Look at him going and scaring all the big hens. What a goof. Well, I'm letting my Belgian Danvers die out, even though two of them started laying recently. Look at this. Spike, would you quit? What are you trying to do? <laughs> he rules the barnyard when he's out here, I guess. I just, as long as, I'd hate to see what happened if there was an actual large fowl rooster out here. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to think about the bloodshed. Well, uh, anyway, um... I'm just going to show you what Spike does. He's such a crazy little guy. He's friendlier than Aubrey. Aubrey's too stupid to be friendly. He's just a, he's a moron. I'm surprised he's not out here trying to intimidate me because I've got a camera. He hates cameras. I bring a camera or a telephone with me and he's stalking me and threatening me. But not today. I guess he's too distracted by the, the big hens I left out here. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. Well, it was just a stupid little video. It's so so warm, it's insane. It feels like it's 75 degrees out here. It's crazy. For February in the mountains, mm -hmm, it's crazy. It's just like the seasons have shifted. I'm telling you. Talk to y'all later. Bye.